I'm John from Extra Boxing, here with Will of the Power Coics out of West Chicago. Topic for today, how to aim for the liver shot. So this is a really funny topic because every time I talk to people, or actually every time people ask me questions, I feel like there's a little confusion over the, where the liver is. So there's some people who think it's here in the side. Some people think it's here in the back, right around the elbows. And actually, it's, it's right here. It's, this, it's right here. It's like to the side of your six pack, a little bit side of the six pack, slightly below the solar plexus, like right on the edge of the rib cage. That's where it is, okay? Right here. It's on the front of the body, not the side or the back. It's the front of the body. So, how, how I aim for it, personally, I know Will has got to have different techniques. We can't be the same. Yeah. Not today. We can't be the same. Uh, how I aim for it is like wherever his arm is protecting, I actually try to punch there. Right there is where I aim. Right where the elbow is where I aim. Now, of course, there's some fighters who are very good at blocking with the elbow. It's very painful. So when they block with the elbow, I actually aim a little higher than the elbow. And I keep hitting that shot. And at some point in the fight, it's going to be in the middle of his right hand. Boom. And that gets in. What I don't like to do, personally, this is just my, you know, every coach is going to say something different. What I don't like to do is that when they block, that I try to reach and I try to get behind or get closer and try to go around. If you go behind the elbow, you will cause a lot of damage too, but I just try to aim exactly where the arm is, and at some point in the fight, the flow will happen, boom, right there. I will catch the shot that I want. Okay, so that's where it is. That's the angle I'm going for. That's, that's very specifically where I'm aiming for. I'm not trying to get around the arm. I'm aiming right where it is, and that's how I set it up. You know, I think one of the, there's a lot of sayings in boxing. There's a lot of terminologies in boxing. There's a lot of, uh, you know, figure of speeches. They say, don't admire your work. And I think this goes perfectly for this too. You know, if you're always focusing on one thing, you forget about everything else. So if your point is to hit the liver shop, just let it happen incidentally. Don't, don't just try to go for every single time. You, don't, you still gotta work your jab. You still gotta worry about what they're gonna throw. And throughout that chaos, maybe one hook is gonna land right in the liver shot. You know, the, the only way you're going to actually get that punch is when you want to step. So the wider your feet, you got more torque, you got more twist, you got more hips involved. When your feet are too close together, all you have is arm power. You want your leg to get in there. So you turn, you get that nice upper reach. It's like an uppercut hookish kind of style. And then you're just trying to turn as much as you can into that punch. The liver shot, that's the question I was be answering because a lot of people are asking about the liver shot. The liver shot's right here in the front, like to the side of the six pack a little bit. Okay? But anywhere else that you hit, if you can hit it, it's still valuable. It still will be painful. And if anything, you hit somewhere else, you hit more around the back, he might shift his elbow to the back and expose the front a little more. We'll talk about that next. Thanks again for watching Joffrey Max Boxing and We're the Power Coics.